Greetings, true believers. Guy here with Total Geek Live, and of course, it's the TGL crew of Baltimore, Kaiser, and Danny. And we are doing a 19xx on one of our favorite Saturday morning cartoons Spider Man and his amazing friends. Which is much better than Spider Man and his amazing friend. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't quite as popular back then, but it you know, was... he came around, he's good. <clears throat> Tim, he's my amazing friend. <laughs> just, just him. Just, yep. just him. Just him. Just him. Him. <laughs> so this was, you know, if you watched our Saturday morning cartoons series a couple of months back, well, we decided to expand on the Saturday morning cartoons and get a little bit more into the heart of the individual shows that we grew up with and loved so much. Like She-Ra. Like She-Ra, exactly. We're getting in all of them. This that was just the start. Now it's like yeah. a thing. Oh, more. Thing. There'll be a whole lot more. I don't know what you'll get from hashtag thing, but don't blame us. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Don't search that. <laughs> I don't think that'd be a good search at all. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna have to search that now. Anyway, uh, this was a show that was on NBC. It was during 1981 and 1983. Although they did run the reruns for this until about 1986 so it was on tv for quite a while and it starred dan glavison as spider-man and i actually got a chance to meet him uh, how was he awesome it's it's really cool because when he talks that's his normal speaking voice so i was simultaneously talking to bumblebee and spider-man at the same time and i'm just like <laughs> i'm trying not to like freak out about it but i was and I guess if you want to get super technical, he was also cooler from Pound Puppies. So, he oh, just... what? <laughs> he was. He was cooler from Pound Puppies. That's awesome. The guy does a lot of stuff. And yeah. Heard from him again because <coughs> Pound Puppies killed his career, right? No, 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 no. Because I, I remember seeing, I remember seeing him in a movie. That his face is very, very memorable. Mm. Um, but I can't remember what the movie was. <laughs> You remember him, not I remember movie. him. I don't remember the movie. Yeah. No. So, Spider-Man is my favorite uh, Marvel character. Always has been. And uh, so, yeah, this, I think, was probably one of the most true-to-form Spider-Man cartoons out there because it was just like the comics at the time. But yeah. how do you guys, what do you, what do you guys think about it? Well, he well, was a jerk. Or, what? <clears throat> I was watching it, uh, David and I were sat down and <coughs> decided to watch a few episodes, and we were laughing hysterically at how much of a jerk Peter Parker was to, to Flash Thompson. Yeah, he's, like, he, he, yeah, he's a Thompson big brother, the... they had a big brother, little brother kind of dynamic to them. <laughs> it's like, he was the victim, poor Flash. <laughs> poor Go Flash. through Watch them again, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Right. You're doing the Karate Kid theory thing again, aren't you? No, it really is. He was so mean to Flash Thompson. He yeah, was but like, Flash Thompson was pretty mean to him their, his entire high school career. Right. Not, not in the animated series I was watching. But well, uh, that was in high school. They were in college. <laughs> well, and oh. they were they both both Spider Man and um, uh, Firestorm were kind of mean to Iceman too. They sure. kind of treated Iceman as like the dumb third wheel of this whole dynamic of their team. Yeah. I, I love Spider-Man and His Amazing Friends. It's actually my first introduction into Spider-Man and then my first introduction to Mutants and then like, hello. I mean... <laughs> right. Yeah. So X-Men. Um, so yeah, so I... I I loved this as a kid growing up and watching this and seeing all the. All, I love when the mutants came in, the X Men came in. That was so mm -hmm. cool. I'm like, oh, who are these people? They're on a team. <laughs> um, so I was super stoked to see those episodes and kind of get kind of their like where they came from and what their whole uh, thing is about. So that was cool. But I loved it. I loved the all the campiness of it. I loved you know the secret room where they would hold the trophy and everything would change and it's like what awesome yeah all the computers would come out and everything yeah yep 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 
it, it just kind of flip over, right? It's just yeah. like, oh well, yeah, yeah. We, you guys, if we watch, if we watch that little that little trailer clip, I I sent you guys. Oh yeah, you'll be able to see all that. So you Let's want you want to check it out? Yeah. Okay. Let's check it out. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Because you're if you guys haven't watched it yet, it's, it's going to just bring the nostalgic right back to you. It's really cool. So right. this is the memorable music for Spider-Man and his amazing friends. This is the intro and the closing credits. So you kind of get the whole thing minus the actual show. So right. <laughs> us, you know, you you, you just. We we give you the bread for the sandwich. So. That's right. <laughs> right. And we are right. the same. If if you want a link to some episodes, we can bring. We, you can find them out there. We are the delicious meaty center. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> I'm going to hit play. Is Sammy ready? Sammy, my amazing friend. Yeah, He's your ready. amazing friend. He's ready. Okay, because you know there was Black Cat in, or <clears throat> in the comics, so. right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Find your friends. Go for it. Here we go. I'm gonna hit play. Now, it's got a long intro. Presentation. Presentation. Yeah. I love that. Oh yeah. That taste stuff. And now he's just climbing into my heart. Look at oh, it. look at this. Spider-Man oh. and his amazing Man. friends. Iceman yeah. and Firestar. Yep. She was an absolute dead ringer for Mary Jane Watson. Yeah, wasn't she? Jellica <laughs> Jones. There it is, the trophy. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> I think that's a kick off Aunt May. I know she was oblivious a lot more back then, but come on. Yeah, right. a little bit. <laughs> Did he only have the one giant fire monster to fight? Oh, they got oh there's three goblins. goblins. And Doctor Doom. And Doctor Doom. I know. And, Doctor Doom. And, his and the arcade machine. video man. In case man. you weren't listening the first time. Dun, should it be dun, a, dun, amazing Spider-Man and his also amazing friends? <laughs> don't don't ruin this for me. I know what you're doing. I like the Incredible Hulk picture they had in the background of their apartment. Catch that. Marvel Productions Marvel. Limited, a cadence company. Who also uh, did Transformers and G.I. Joe. Yes. And Dungeons and Dragons. Yes. They did all sorts of cool stuff. Oh yeah, they did great stuff. <clears throat> so, let, let's talk about some of those episodes. I mean, of course... Might as well get the big one out of the way. Their um, their original enemy, based off the whole crazy arcade game craze of the 1980s, Video Man. Man, yeah, dude, yeah. I loved Video Man. He was my favorite. I was yeah. so down with it, like him going in through the electrical outlets and stuff. I mean, that was my go-to villain, like when I wanted to play a bad guy. Because really? just the, yeah, just with the fact that he could go through. Electrical sockets like that, and you know, he was like the first hacker kind of yeah. computer hacker kind of thing that I ever saw. Man, I, I thought it was he was cool. I always wanted to be Video Man, and the and the the when he shoot the do, 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 things. Yeah, things, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was so <laughs> radical. Trap Flash and Iceman in that yeah. game where they're like literally Firestar too, I think, where they're literally getting beaten down by all those video game styles. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was so that cool. Was really cool. Yeah. yeah. Anytime yeah. I think of the show, I think of that episode. Well, yeah, it's super iconic. Do you remember in the third season when they made him a good guy though? Where like they made someone they, this kid named Francis Bite, womp womp, oh. but. Like, they made him into a good guy superhero and he joined the X-Men? Video Man? Yeah. No, I don't remember that one at all. Oh, dang it. Oh. I said Video Man in Baltimore just... <clears throat> it's like hey. it's like saying Candy Man. If we say Video Man <laughs> too many times, he's going to, like, mess us up. I really yeah. don't want to get hit by a Pong ball. Thank you. What <laughs> <laughs> um, One thing that was really kind of interesting is they originally wanted human torch 
to be mm. the other amazing friend. Mm -hmm. But because of licensing issues, they couldn't use them. So they created Firestar for the show. So right. she wasn't actually a Marvel character before this in the comics. She was a brand new for the show. And really? then eventually she did make her appearance <laughs> in Uncanny X-Men, I think like 193, um, as a mutant and as, you know, a fully formed character. And she had her own, like, miniseries later oh. on. Oh, wow. Um, this was kind of one of those first uh, characters from a, a, video, um, a cartoon mm -hmm. to actually make the leap into... Uh, the actual comics. Video Man is another one who leapt from there as well. So wow. she was like the original Harley Quinn. Right. Exactly. Original. Huh? Harley Quinn just biting. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that's kind of a cool thing. And, you know, I've always wondered, you know, like you mentioned before, she looks like Mary Jane. Mm -hmm. And, like, you know, the old urban, urban myth that maybe it was supposed to be Mary Jane and when they couldn't get human torches right they kind of reconfigure things and made it you know there's never been any confirmation either way but it is kind of interesting it's like oh we have these sketches lying around line right. here line here color this in yellow boom yeah new character right from red yeah. hair to reddish brown hair wow well, that no one will recognize her jinx <laughs> god i love firestar Oof. i mean ha. <laughs> now a lot if you're younger and watching this you're like why are you watching a bunch of animated memes why are you talking so fondly about memes I think right the spider-man show before that was even more responsible for a lot of those animated beings like no barrel i insist and things like that uh, yeah <laughs> oh that was from the first that was from the show before this huh like just before this one the uh, Spider-Man, Spider-Man one, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was, yeah, because that was like <clears throat> right at the 79, 80 cusp, I think, when that one came out, or, or uh, yeah, I think so. <clears throat> Do I, oh, so I'm going through here, so there's uh, some of the episodes, mm -hmm. um, see if you, the Transylvanian Connection, do you remember that one? I probably remember it more from plot. Yeah. Uh, oh, it, it, I mean, it had a like vampire dude. Like, a vampire, yeah. Yeah, so I, I was thinking maybe it was... Uh, <clears throat> who was the vampire in, in Marvel? Mor Dracula. Morbius, Morbius or, or Dracula? Morbius. Yeah. Well, they Morbius. had Dracula proper and Morbius. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because yeah, Morbius is kind of like an underling of, of Dracula. Yeah. Um, Spidey meets the girl from tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm looking at some of these and I'm like I don't what? remember some of these. I think I I saw a lot of them on repeat and they just repeated the same. They just the same ones over and over again. Right. <laughs> who, yeah. Right. Catch the right. Ones. Uh, Pawns of the Kingpin. It's a really cool because the Kingpin's hold. There's like a chessboard and and the three and, heroes yeah. are there, but Kingpin has Captain America. In his hand, where he's placing them. I would think it'd be Daredevil, but well, you know. Oh, Daredevil's too scary for kids. I think it was okay back then. Now, obviously, you know. He's... Well, in the episode I was watching last night, that I wanted you guys. Um, you know, I was hoping we we you know you guys would jump on board. We're watching it together here or whatever. But like, there's a a costume party. And Daredevil, Daredevil's there. Somebody's dressed up as Daredevil. I mean, there's yes, so many that. great um, <clears throat> people yeah, yeah. dressed up as the co costumes or the characters and stuff. And mm -hmm. uh, it's it's really neat because yeah, it's about Green Goblin and Norman Osborn and and, mm -hmm. and all okay. of that. Um, but it was so it was, it was a lot of fun just seeing um, all the different people, the characters. But you know that they're just normal people dressed up as them. <coughs> What about Swarm? Oh, yeah. See a bee, uh, dude? The mm. bee zombie things where everyone would get antennas and, like, Aunt May turned into, like, a bee zombie? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Swarm, swarm, and, like, they had to put on some fake antenna to try to infiltrate the swarm. Yes. Oh, man. Yeah. I remember that one now. Oh, I wish we, we could just sit and watch them all right now. We just... Oh. Do a whole commentary over the series, <laughs> right? Yeah, that might be a sub series. I'd be willing to do that. Yeah, 
Let us know what you think, folks. If you want us to do a whole commentary about the Spider-Man and Amazing Friends, let us know. Oh, we'd probably have to edit it so that it just wasn't. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, I, I love, you know, like I said before, my introduction to the X-Men was from this series. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the X-Men that they picked were actually kind of interesting because they had Thunderbird, who had died. Yes. Mm -hmm. Colossus, obviously, Wolverine, Cyclops, Storm, Nightcrawler. And those are, like, really kind of cool. I think they had Kitty Pride at some point as well. I think so. Right. Um, but it was kind of cool to see, like, the the X-Men kind of show up and Spider-Man, you know, like, dude, you're not a mutant. Like, yeah. Facts. Do you remember uh, they gave Wolverine that Australian accent as opposed to a Canadian one? Oh, I was like... <laughs> It was all foreshadowing. They knew who they knew, yeah, they knew Hugh Jackman he, was was <laughs> gonna grow up and become him. A young Hugh Jackman was watching that. He's like, "Oi, I can be Oivory. I need, I want to watch this episode, The Vengeance <laughs> of Loki. It just popped up. Yeah, it looks really really cool. I mean, yeah, yeah, there's there's some episodes I want to go back and just watch now because I think I missed them. I possibly yeah. And let's see, there were seven seven little superheroes. Yes. That thing. Uh, it was like Namor and Captain America. Mm. And the Spider Friends. And I remember they made Miss Lion one of the superheroes. The oh, cat? The, the dog. The dog. The dog. That's what I thought. Also. That's dog. Sorry. Yeah. Got a cat you got a brain. cat. Yeah, Sammy's on my your brain. Well, so... Yeah. So did the dog have superpowers? Did it fly around and It was a dog shed all over the place or I know the people who made the show hated that dog. Someone said, you know, you know how it is, executive meddling. Someone came in, it'd be great if they had a dog and of course they had to stick the dog in everywhere. But um... Scooby Doo and Ba 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 Right. Yeah, that, that Kids totally love awesome, dogs. That totally love awesome that. Uh, cartoon book said how much they hated that dog. Wow, that's pretty funny. Well, hey, I'm right there with them. <laughs> it was annoying. Yeah, Miss, Miss Lion did end up in Marvel continuity, but it, it's a boy. It's a boy named Miss, a boy dog named Miss Lion. Wow. Who owned yeah. the dog? Was it Aunt May's? No. It was Firestars. It was Firestars. Okay. <laughs> and so yeah. she named a boy dog Miss Lion. I think it was a girl. It looked like it looked more like a girl dog. In well, the it had show. two bows in its hair. But funny enough, the boy dog in the comics had the two bows in his hair. Well, I mean, I guess you know, he can he can he can do that if he wants. It's it's yeah. his life. His gender is not defined by you. Nope. nope go, nope, you nope. magnificent beast. Yes, you go, Miss Lion. You do you do you. You do your thing. Yep. <laughs> one of the interesting characters, I think it's uh, either the last or one of the very last episodes, they introduce uh, Iceman's half-sister, who's never appeared anywhere else. Um, I think, yeah, called Lightwave, I think. Oh, Lightwave. <laughs> yeah, so random. It's like, and she's a super villain, and they have to fight her, and then she turns good because she was it was like some weird shield thing. Something or other. It was very strange. Wow. Uh, but I think that's how they end the show. Just kind of like, okay, we fought you. Now you're not. Mm -hmm. um, and that was the last episode of the season? Of the show. Of the show, yeah. Wow. Random. Was she created for the show yeah, as well? Created for the show, yeah. Yeah, created for the show. Never used since. <coughs> Um, I think it's about time Snowcone made a reappearance. <laughs> Snowcone. <laughs> Light wave, <laughs> not Snowcone. <laughs> had, had one of those Madonna rides. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> it was the 80s. <laughs> it's true. It's true. And she's just a material girl living in a material world, right? Of Snowcone. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and a, a slightly weird thing. Did you ever read that Spider-Verse comic series that came out maybe like four or five years back? Uh, I knew it happened. I don't think I read many of where, 
where that enemy Morlin was going around the different universes of Marvel and like went to Earth 1983 and oh I, oh my God if you've never seen that no I have not Morlin's basically going around the different universes killing all the Spider Men from those universes and um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it's a very sad Miss Lion at the end. It was just like, this world's too kind and gentle. I'm like, no! <laughs> I think that one really messed me up. Oh, man. <laughs> what is... After... hey. Go ahead. Uh, I, said, uh, I always get a soft spot in my heart when I ever I see the three of them on panel somewhere on a in a comic or something. Mm -hmm. so I'm like, ah, friends. Sometimes oh. they acknowledge it, sometimes they don't. And I'm right. Like, um, but they did actually have, I think, Amazing X-Men, Firestar finally joined the X-Men for the first mm. time. And yes. Iceman was on the same team. And I think they had a little bit of, a little, like, two or three issue arc with Spider-Man in it. Nice. So it was, all, like, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. That's awesome. Did you ever read the story where Peter and Mary Jane decided that they should set Angelica and Bobby up on a date? And, yes. like, yeah, they, was, like yeah. a relation? Yeah, and that, and then of course it went bad, so they just both played Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> and they actually did it pretty well in continuity. Mm -hmm. uh, it was pretty cool. I like that. Hmm. But yeah, I mean, I, I love that series. It because I, I I think one of my favorite eras of Spider Man was the 1980s, just because he he didn't he wasn't quite as fantastical. I mean, he had all his just real world life problems growing up and living in New York and just trying to be a student in college and everything else. And they really interpreted that very well. You know, obviously they didn't take all the storylines from the, the series, but right. even like the classic art style, the Romita, the Romita style art, I mean, it just looked like it sprung out of a comic book and everyone looked completely accurate. And, um, you know, those, those voices, Frank Welker did both Iceman and, um, flash as well mm -hmm. and it, it just it looked like it just hopped out of the comic page and now you could just watch it for 30 minutes and of course just loving spider-man as much as i did i was like oh my god this is the greatest ever and i think of all the spider-man series that's still my favorite just because of that reason yeah, oh, yeah. i'd agree with that it's, there's so many frames where peter looks like he's 40 in, 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 got forty year olds. <laughs> exactly. Just, but here's the thing, like even in in the comics, in the early comics, yeah. Yeah, and even in like animation and in real like live action stuff. Mm -hmm. Every time you see someone, like I was watching, oh, this is random, but I was watching yesterday Pretty Woman. Okay. Julia Roberts is twenty three in that film. She looks like she's thirty something. Right. But every time you see, like, some of those 80s movies, like, when they were supposed to be 18 or whatever, they looked so old. Yeah, they looked way older. I don't know if it's just me, like, whatever, but every time I see something from the 80s or whatever, and they say their age, and I'm like, I don't know about that. Some, some, some smell right. Uh, <laughs> but it, it kind of bleeds over into the comics and the stuff like that, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was kind of an interesting little observation. Sorry, guys. No, no, not an apology at all. You explained it all. <laughs> it looks like he <laughs> looks like he's forty because that's how people looked in the eighties when they were young. Right, <laughs> they were all already old, old and haggard. <laughs> I'm old as you old man. <laughs> uh, Peter Sky. That's the oldest nine-year-old I've ever seen. What is he? Sixty? Really? <laughs> I just want to play He-Man, leave me alone. <laughs> Can I have fruit no. snacks? <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. yeah, I definitely want to go and go back and watch, rewatch <laughs> some of these episodes. And, um, like I, I, I enjoyed watching the one last night. Um, just going back and, and seeing it just brought back so many member, good memories. Now I definitely want to see the video man one again. Yeah. It's just, it's... It was on Netflix or Hulu. Netflix for I think up until 2015, and when they took it off, I was sad because I like got like really into it again. Right. Yeah. Well, maybe they'll bring it back. Yeah, come on Netflix. Come on Disney. 
Yeah, Disney, get I your service them, up and yeah, put I it up there. Like a collected set of all the Spider-Man and his amazing friends, and then I on Blu-ray, and then I'll add that to my collection. For sure. What they haven't done that already? No, that they haven't collected it at all. They did the '90s X-Men one though, didn't yeah. they? They some time back. I wish they'd do that one again. Yeah. So. Yeah, get on it, Disney. Come on, man. What get else are you it. doing? You buy all this stuff, use it. Yeah. Give it to it. Give it to us. But Spider-Man and amazing, his amazing friends were just a great part of childhood. I think that was one of the defining things that got me into loving Spider-Man as much as I did over the years. And, you know, certainly action figures like the, the Secret War figures and even like the Mego figures. I'm really dating myself now. <laughs> like the pocket heroes. But, um, yeah, I loved that show. And, again, just meeting Dan Gavils and was just like, it was such a weird feeling. It's like I've never met him, and obviously he knows nothing of me. But just, like, talking to him, it was like hearing an old friend again. Mm -hmm. And that was yeah. kind of experience well, that is neat yeah so any he, and he signed my totally awesome cartoon book so i was super excited about that that's cool so, totally cool. totally awesome all right so before we go we have to say who we are in the spider-man and his amazing friends guy spider-man i have the costume i want to be video man okay kaiser I'm Flash Thompson. Oh. <laughs> you can't be J. Jonah Jameson? I'm the Rhino. He's Miss Lion. <laughs> <laughs> Say it, thank you. You, <laughs> you are missing four. <laughs> it's okay. You know, he wears ribbons in his hair. You can do that too. Yeah. We don't judge. You can put him in your beard. <laughs> Photoshop. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I'll be Iceman. We, we got one last two. Would you be, Baltimore? Iceman. Iceman. Well, that... Nice. You like doing the... Sh making yourself into yeah. a big ice cube and then pff, breaking out to transform? It was a cold transformation. I'll, I'll give him that. Yeah. I always wanted to be able to skate around <clears throat> town just by putting ice yeah. in front of me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm a snow cone. I would totally do that. You know what? I'm not listening to you. I'm sitting in my little ice cube. <laughs> you can't touch me. I can't hear you. It's all muffled. I'm not coming out until you leave. Yeah. So, so whoever's watching this, you have to comment who you would want to be in Sp Spider-Man and his amazing friend. Let us know. Yep. Yeah, put it down below. Because we'd like to know who, you, who, who on the show you'd be. Or even your favorite episode or something that we missed. Or even any follow-up as Spider-Man and his amazing friends episodes and comics or whatever else. Where have you been able to find it since the show's been off the air? Yeah. yeah. But that is it for us, gang. And as always, it's all geek for, to us. It's all geek for us. It's all geek to us. It's all geek around us. It's like a geeky thing.
I didn't know I was so popular. Don't let it go to your head, Peter. There are a dozen super villains out there, too. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> the Green Goblin! Look out! <laughs> Two of them, flying on wire. <laughs> Some superhero. During the clip, they told me accepting Spider-Man's reward on his co-stars, Iceman and the beautiful Firestar. I'm sorry, Spider-Man can't be here for this proud moment, but we accepted the award for him and we want to say. Thank you. 